Good evening. It's Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous coming to you Friday night live to speak into your life briefly to give you encouragement, hope, direction as you go through the crisis trauma of divorce. I am glad that you're here. I respect your time. And so I want to make this really valuable. So I'm going to jump right into it after a couple of quick messages. So November 2nd, I will be starting a five week special session for those people who were the initiators of the divorce and feel incredible guilt and shame and can't seem to get past that. I have some folks that I'm working with that are stuck and can't seem to move forward. And one of the reasons is because they're isolating themselves and they're not hearing the stories of other people to realize they're not the only one who has blown it. And so we want to come together to hear each other's stories, to be able to give those individuals, and maybe that's you, an opportunity to say, you know what? Yep, I blew it, but I can't go back and I can't change the past. I have to begin moving forward and picking up the pieces. So connect with me. Uh, it's a very inexpensive night. It's 10 bucks a night. So it'll cost you 50 bucks for five sessions. And you will be amazed the difference that it will make when you come together with other people who totally understand and get your story and have one similar to yours. So connect with me for registration form for that. Tonight's topic, uh, that's not it, um, is uh, how are your friends helping you heal through divorce? I've got a lot of text up here. So um, the question, the topic is tonight, are your friends helping you heal through this divorce and after the divorce. So friends can come along and support you and can be incredible. In my case, 20 some years ago, it was these coworkers that I had in the marketing department. And we had been close before we left. We had a good time. But when I went through my divorce, they rallied around me and gave me true friendship and support. And without them allowing me to talk, and to be real with where I was at, I don't know how I would have ever gotten through going through divorce, quite honestly. So they still warm my heart. I can see them all now. Uh, yeah. Uh, and what they uh, what they meant to me in helping me go through it. So it's really important who we do surround ourselves with. Who are those people that you are allowing to support you? And so one of the, what really um, inspired me tonight was this workbook, which you see up there, 30 Days of Healing After Divorce. I love this little book. It's very concise. It's a couple of pages for each day. It lists um, some information. It tells a story. It asks some questions, and then it allows you to journal those questions and put out um and I love the title, 10 Minutes of Honesty at a Time. I'm not going to bombard you with a ton of information. I'm going to give you one topic for one day to really focus on and to ask yourself those questions that you need to ask to begin to heal and to process your divorce and to uh, work on building a future. So let me ask you this question. Who are your friends right now? Who are you hanging out with? Who are those people? Who are the ones who are supporting you, who are being with you? And do they celebrate with you? Do they celebrate you and say, you can do this? You can do this, Kathy. You can get through this. I see a vision for you. Or do they simply sit around and bash your ex for hour after hour after hour? Or sit and say, well, he was a narcissist. She was a narcissist. Well, that's understandable in the beginning as you go through and you're in the shock of what you're going through. But if you're doing this month after month after month, it's not good for you to commiserate and just to um, continually go over and over and over. And maybe they had their own ex experience with divorce. And so you're going over and over and over. You're ruminating, staying still, going in this vicious circle that gets you nowhere. So who are your friends and are they supporting you? Do they have a vision for you? Do they say, you know what? I see this for you. Or you can do it and you can create a future on your own. But they give you those encouragement words that say you're going to make it. And boy, do I remember 
Dorothy who spoke to me and said, you're going to make it. You're going to be okay. But I honestly did not think I was going to be okay. So it's important that your friends see a future for you and that they are good and they are wholesome people. And if you do have some folks, how are they helping you get through this crisis in your life? Now, the story that I tell in this book, 30 Days of Healing After Divorce, is a story about Aaron. And let me just briefly read it because it is not very, very long, but I think you can relate to it. I love my friends, he said, but I'm thinking maybe drinking myself under the table with them is not going to help me heal. It's fun, but it's not honest. I'm thinking, is this really what I want from my life and my body? Aaron had coronavirus friends. You think you can hang out with them and not be affected by their contagious influence. Right now, you should be and are designing a new and a healthy life. It's okay if some people don't go with you into that new life. In fact, it may be even necessary that they don't. Aaron bonded with the support group that I was leading, and it was such a great and special group. In fact, last I heard, they were still connecting to this day. He was working on intentionally making new friends. Sounds good, doesn't it? Having friends who understand what you're going through and support you with a vision for your life. Wow, we all need those people. Even when we're not going through a, a crisis, we need those people, but especially now. We need those people. So how are they helping you? The friends, the people that are around you, how are they helping you get through this? Are they listening to you? Are they great listeners? And they're uh, compassionate towards you and empathetic. Um, how are they helping you? And if they're not, I have to wonder if they're really good for you to be around right now. Maybe they are those people who we need to love from a distance. Now, the scriptures say we need to love everyone, but it doesn't mean that we have to give access to everyone into our life and heart, especially now when we are raw. So who are those people? How are they helping you? Are they helping you? Are they just keeping you stuck in a negative place? And let me ask this question. One of the things I love to do in group is ask questions because that's where we really start to think and we start to engage and we start to really analyze our life. My question is this, who are the healthiest people in your life? Who are they? I can think of healthy, healthy, good people in my life. In fact, I had lunch with a couple of them today. They're strong. They have great core values. They're just good people. They want the best for me. They care about me. Who are the healthiest people in your life? And maybe for some of you, you may be saying, I don't have any healthy people in my life. That's not as peculiar as it may sound. I've worked with many people who do not have healthy people in their lives. And that requires that we begin to work on our own healing by engaging in groups and people who are healthy. We find them. Where are they? Are they in the community groups? Are they in the, um, the church groups? Where are they? And maybe you've never ventured into church a day in your life. Maybe now's the time. In fact, you'd be amazed how many people come into church when I hold a group there that are very that are unchurched or haven't been to church in years and find it a very supportive and welcoming environment. So, um, of course, I have some scriptures. Of course, I went to the book of Proverbs and actually... Uh, First Corinthians was one said, don't be fooled. Bad friends will ruin good habits. Don't be fooled. Don't think that you can be around those people with uh, COVID-19, we call it. In the book, I called it coronavirus because that's what we were calling it when I wrote the book and published it. But don't think that you can hang out with them without being infected by their values and stop and think, are these the people that I want to be with five years from now, 10 years from now? Are they really the quality people who do good things for me? Or are they people who are just leading me, leading me nowhere or leading me in a bad direction? 
So that's one verse I absolutely love. I love this one as well. Proverbs, the book of wisdom. Book of wisdom. Whoever walks with wise people will be wise. But whoever associates with fools will suffer. And the Bible talks quite a bit about fools in the book of Proverbs. Disaster hunts down sinners, but righteous people are rewarded with good. So if you want to be wise, you walk with wise people. If you want to be foolish, and you hang out with foolish people. But you'll get nowhere. And you won't have the quality of relationships that you really want. All of us want in our lives. One more. Proverbs again. Favorite book of wisdom. Uh, anyone who makes fun of wisdom will never find it. But knowledge comes easy to those who understand its value. Stay away from fools. There's that word again. Stay away from fools. There is nothing they can teach you. Great warnings, don't you think? So who are your friends and are they helping you heal as you go through the divorce? Maybe your divorce is passed and you're still hanging out with them, but you're realizing I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not getting anywhere with these people. I'm not moving forward how I want to move forward. I want to just pull up this one other book here um, because I think it's uh, one that can really help you talk. It talks about the net, your network of friends and, and who you hang out with and, um, and honestly looking at those individuals and saying, is this really where I want to spend my life and my time uh, with these people? Because I do want to be productive in my life. I do want the rest of my life to have incredible value and someone to inspire me to do new and wonderful things and take those smart risks that I need to create a new life. So I've talked about friends here, and I've also mentioned that there are some who don't have close friends and you need to be pursuing friendships with good people. But let me ask this question too. Are you isolating? Are you withdrawing? And for many of us, it's easier to just pull back, to isolate and not bother, just pull our covers over our head and, and stay in bed. And life's too short. And life has so much for you to do, to be involved with, to make new friends, to do new things, to have new accomplishments. I know how painful divorce can be. I know how easy it can be just to withdraw. And if you need to withdraw for a day or a time and pull the covers up over your head, do that. But don't stay there because it's quite frankly, it's bad for your health. It's bad for your emotions. It's bad for your psyche. It's just bad because we were created for community and you need community. And if you're isolating because you don't have good friends, it's time, my dear brother or sister, that you begin to pursue healthy relationships with people so that you can begin to heal and create a new life. And again, not everyone's going to go with you. There are those that you need to leave behind and that's okay because there are new ones awaiting you and there are new experiences awaiting you. So let's work on that healing. Let's start that um, 30 days of healing after divorce. Maybe you've been divorced for quite some time. Doesn't matter. This book is really going to be helpful to you. Both books really are. And they are so inexpensive. Um, so I would just encourage you to pick them up. My prices have not went up due to inflation, um, as everyone else's has. These are minimally cost, and I wanted them that way because I want to help as many people as I can to have the resources and tools that they need. So I hope this has been of help to you an encouragement to you and a time to think about and look at who are the people that you are surrounding yourself with. And do you need perhaps to take a step back, maybe even remove yourself from that circle of friends and find new ones Find the quality people that you want to become. Find the quality people that you want to become. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. 
I hope this has been of help. And I want to just remind you again, November 2nd, I am on week three of my hybrid group. So um, if you want a 10 week group, you're welcome to come in and join me there as well. Connect with me. Let's get this healing started. This is Kathy Beatty with Divorce Support Anonymous, walking with you every step of the way through the trauma of divorce. Have a good evening.